and recycling is an important thing in any process flow sheet. Uh, today let us see how to add a recycle tab in HiSys and how to handle that uh, so that we can you know, uh, convert, convert the flow sheet with recycle. We have ammonia loop uh, case study in front of us. Uh, so let us say ammonia is being produced by means of reacting nitrogen and hydrogen. The feed can, contains nitrogen, hydrogen, argon uh, and some part of methane, some amount of methane. It enters the reactor at uh, 77 degree Fahrenheit and 200 atmo atmosphere. Uh, reactor is modeled as an equilibrium reactor, so we will have to add an equilibrium reaction and a reactor. The reactor operates at 200 atmo atmosphere and uh, 500 degree Celsius. The outlet of the reactors are uh, mixed to form a mixture which is further cooled uh, and you know uh, the pressure is reduced so that we get a conversion from vapor to liquid. And then the liquid which contains largely ammonia is separated and the vapor which is unreacted is uh, you know, recycled back after you know compressing. So let us see how to simulate that in ISIS with the help of uh, recycle. Now see uh, we already have uh, generated the compounds and uh, you know the feed which is according to the you know uh, the requirement is already been added the compositions are also as per the requirement uh, as per the given data and uh, if you go to properties and reaction the reactions already added where nitrogen hydrogen ammonia is added no other compound are added as they are uh, you know inerts and the approach is made to be zero and the default way of calculating cal uh, equilibrium constant is based on the Gibbs free energy which is available in the ICS. So this also has been you know the reaction also is uh, properly fed. Let us go back to the simulation and uh, this is the feed which we already have. We take an equilibrium reactor which is available in the columns. We take the equilibrium reactor uh, and uh, the feed enters say so this is V out L out and Q reactor or I think Q R and uh, let us add the reaction set part so reaction is added the reaction takes place at 500 degrees Celsius, so we have to set the temperature which is 500 Celsius and your reaction is done. And we can see that the outlet composition is having go to design and parameter. Let us see what the result. Okay, so uh, we can see that the outlet product contains some amount of ammonia, and this ammonia needs to be separated. So first, we'll as per the data, we mix both vapor and liquid. The outlet of this is then cooled to 200 to, to 28 minus 28 Fahrenheit. So let us mix out, cooler out, and let's say energy is QC, and the temperature is minus 28 Fahrenheit. And the pressure given is 2000 psi. So we have got some amount of you know a liquid which is generated. We can see that this mixture outlet is you know this 
almost is a vapor which is added and then you have some amount of liquid here. So this liquid needs to be separated. So for that we take a separator, separating column, we add the stream, there is cooler out, unreacted gases you may say, and this is ammonia. And uh, since the pressure drop is already taken place here, we don't need to do anything. This this works as a almost a drum with separate liquid and you know vapor, and you can see that the ammonia contained say is 92 percent. So uh, now this needs to be recycled. But before it is recycled, we need to purge some portion so that you know uh, the inerts like nitrogen and uh, you know sorry argon and methane that doesn't get built up so let us take a T this T will have the input as your unreacted gases one is uh, you know recycled gases and other is fudge and we go to parameter and we say that since it is it is said that 0 0.04 fraction is per so we'll write here 0 0.04 so 96 percent is you know sent to recycle so this is then taken to a compressor see this is then compressed to 200 atmosphere which is equivalent to the uh, pressure of the reactor so let's take this and uh, reset gases r1 let's say and let's say q cup and we have to we have to decide device pressure which is 200 so this will then be you know this is recycled back now you know we can't directly uh, you know attach this to the reactor if you do that just see if you do that the entire uh, thing would be unconverted so we can't do that we have to use us you know special recycle tab it basically is nothing but a tier stream so we take this as r1 and take this as recycle now we just see that this recycle stream is right now defined same as that of r1 and you can just see that you can so this can be changed now this recycle can be directly attached to the reactor and you can just see that the entire flow sheet is converged and there may be some changes in the composition of the product So you can see that uh, you know, there are some changes in the composition because of the addition of the recycle stream but then uh, you know that is because of the addition of the new stream. Now if I go further into the recycle stream you can just see that these are the sensitivities. Sensitivities would you know uh, talk about the uh, will make sure that the convergence is, is proper. Now if you want to say that I want the temperature to be very sensitive. And this basically is the comparison of the temperature of stream R1, which is say for example right now 4.715 and this, which is 4.719. Now say for example I'll make it further 0.1 and see it is not converging. Right? So you can 
can just see that it's not solid. And then the moment I'll make it to say for example 0.5, it is converged. Now for 0.5, the values which I am getting is 4.893, and this is 4.889. So it has been so the accuracy has been increased. Same way you can play with the you know pressure, flow, composition, wherever you feel that this is more important uh, property for me, you can decrease the uh, sensitivity of that. And this is how you can uh, take care of a recycle tab. As such, when you want to recycle in a single loop, you can put a recycle tab over this, or this, or this. Any of the stream you can use as a recycle tab. So similar uh, processes you can solve with the help of ICs where which involves bundle balance with recycle.